Almost noon here in southwest Alabama and northwest Florida where we have a brand new tornado watch that has just been issued for all of the red zone weather coverage area. Hi, I'm Sphinx Meganson. Thanks so much for checking out our live video update. We have a new tornado watch that is in effect until 6 p.m. local time for many counties here in southwest Alabama and Escambia, Santa Rosa, and Okaloosa counties in Florida. We also should note that at the time this update is being produced, we have a severe thunderstorm warning in progress for portions of Clark and Monroe counties for this severe storm currently capable of producing damaging winds and large hail on top of the U.S. 84 corridor near Grove Hill, Watley, and Gosport moving to the east towards Claiborne, Scratch Ankle, and Franklin in the uh, northern part of Monroe counties for that severe thunderstorm warning. But again, the big story as of now is that we now have a tornado watch that has just been issued that's valid until 6 p.m. local time for southwest Alabama and northwest Florida. Let's go ahead and take off the radar data so you can see exactly who's involved in this. And if your county is shaded in pink, you are now under a tornado watch until 6 p.m. local time. I'll go through the counties in southwest Alabama. Uh, we've got Choctaw, Washington, Clark, Wilcox, Monroe, Conecuh, Butler, Crenshaw, Covington, Escambia, uh, Baldwin, and also Mobile counties included in this tornado watch box. We also have Escambia, Santa Rosa, and Okaloosa counties in northwest Florida now under a tornado watch and again, that's in effect for our entire area. We'll show you the radar so that you can see that we've got many storms in progress across the region. In fact, we'll put this into motion so you get some idea of these storms moving from west to east at about 30 to 40 miles per hour. The heaviest rain right now is happening in Clark County in terms of our region anyway. And uh, this is U.S. Highway 84. And so no travel is advised right now on U.S. 84 from Grove Hill all the way back over to Repton as this area is included in a severe thunderstorm warning uh, due to the potential for large hail falling right in through here. The Alabama River runs right there. You've got Watley, Gosport, also areas near Cyrene, Dickinson in Clark County all included in that severe thunderstorm warning that's on the board until 1215. And uh, again, very, very heavy rainfall in this area. In fact, we've got heavy rainfall across the region right now outside of this warning polygon. However, these storms in Escambia counties in Alabama and Florida are under severe limits. Very heavy rain falling right now with lots of lightning and thunder near Flomaton, near Century, near Molino, also back here near Atmore, Huxford, Porch, you right. All of this action moving off to the east northeast at about 30 miles per hour. And so what that means is if you're watching from places like Castleberry, Repton, Bruton, Berrydale, J, you are going to have very heavy rainfall with lots of lightning and thunder in the next 15 to 20 minutes. But the good news is, again, these storms remain under severe limits in terms of right in through here in Escambia counties in Alabama and Florida coming into Santa Rosa County, Florida. Again, tornado watch, if you're just uh, tuning in, a tornado watch has been issued for the entirety of the red zone weather coverage area that's valid until 6 p.m. local time. Again, if your county is in pink, you are included in the tornado watch. The Storm Prediction Center maintains their enhanced risk of strong to severe storms. We'll look at that in just a moment. And while we do that, I also should note that a substantial tornado outbreak has happened today back in Louisiana. Uh, many tornado warnings there uh, over the past hour with confirmed reports back in through here. Uh, the tornadoes just to the east of New Orleans, also just to the north and south of Baton Rouge as these uh, supercell thunderstorms continue pushing off to the east toward our area. Not suggesting that our area will have a magnitude of an event like that, but it's certainly possible today with the dynamics of the atmosphere. So we'll take you back over to a different radar source and you can see, again, we've got plenty of heavy rain across our region, right in through here, coming into Monroeville, coming into Franklin, Tunnel Springs, Uri as well. If you're in Bruton or East Bruton, lots of heavy rain, lots of lightning about to happen in your particular location as, as these non-severe storms continue moving off to the east northeast. The good news is as of 12.02 p.m., we have no active tornado warnings for any part of southwest Alabama and northwest Florida. But again, we're here to announce that we have this tornado watch that has been posted until 2 p.m. 
or excuse me, until 6 p.m., I should say, local time for all of our uh, counties. And so Chatham, Thomasville, Monroeville, Evergreen, Bruton, Gulf Shores, Navarre, Destin, Pensacola, Mobile, all included in the Tornado Watch and all areas in between those larger uh, communities. Due to the Tornado Watch that's uh, in effect until 6 p.m. local time. We noted this morning during our morning video that was posted on Facebook that our area had been upgraded, the entirety of the area, into a slight risk zone. And since then, if you follow us on Twitter, you know that at about 8 this morning, the Storm Prediction Center upgraded a part of this slight risk zone to the level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk area due to the fact that we could have some stronger storms right in through here. The atmosphere is certainly... Uh, capable of producing perhaps a few isolated tornadoes and stronger storms with damaging straight line winds and that sort of thing, particularly right in through here. But I would caution, even if you're in the level two risk zone, all of us have a chance of strong to severe storms basically now through 8 p.m. tonight. And so for our friends right now in the central part of Clark, north central Monroe County, uh, you're under a severe thunderstorm warning. You need to move inside now, obviously, away from windows and doors. And uh, large hail, damaging winds with this storm in Clark and Monroe counties at this time. All of us have a tornado watch valid until 6 p.m. And so the most urgent thing you need to know, have a way to receive those tornado warnings over the next several hours. Again, a watch means that we all need to have heightened awareness uh, due to the potential for strong storms today. However, a warning means that a tornado has either been sighted or detected by a trained meteorologist at the National Weather Service, uh, and a storm is capable of producing a tornado. But again, it's a tornado watch for now. Uh, be sure to stay weather aware over the next few hours. Let your friends and family know by perhaps sharing this post about the potential for tornadoes in our area today. Have that uh, tornado readiness plan ready, including helmets, including whistles, including closed-toed shoes. And also, the, uh, the whistles and air horns are great. And here's the most important thing on this slide. Have a way to receive those warnings and act when the warning is issued. You don't want to wait. When a tornado warning is issued for your area, you're blessed with lead time, and you need to do something about it if your area goes under a tornado warning today. Again, the core of the threat is going to be now, basically th through 8 p.m. tonight. Again, the tornado watch is in effect until 6 p.m. Tornadoes possible, damaging straight line winds, and large hail all going to be concerns. The good news is at this point, no active tornado warnings are in place. That could change in the hours ahead. But as we leave you, we will remind you again, tornado watch in effect until 6 p.m. local time for all the counties that you see shaded in pink. We've got plenty of heavy rain and lots of lightning. That's one thing that I shouldn't uh, forget about. Look at all that lightning in the non-severe storms as well. The storm near Flomaton and Century and McDavid producing lots of lightning uh, as it moves off to the east. Same thing up here near Gosport along the Alabama River near the Claiborne Lock and Dam. That's coming into Monroeville, Tunnel Springs and Beatrice. Lots of lightning, lots of thunder and more activity back to the west will move across our region in the hours ahead that has the potential to produce even stronger storms. For now, we're going to end our Facebook live stream. I'm Sphinx Meganson saying goodbye for now. Again, a tornado watch is in effect for Southwest Alabama and Northwest Florida until 6 p.m. tonight.